Kenzie Knox and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will be painting Seascape Window Real-Time Acrylic Painting by Joni Young Art and this should be super easy, fun, and relaxing. So sit back, relax, and let's have some fun. To begin off with, I'm working on 11 by 14 mixed media paper that's been primed with gesso as well as a layer of black paint. And you can easily do this just by using acrylic black paint. That's what I did. And then we'll begin off with our palette. To begin off with, we're going to add a few colors to our palette, which include aqua green, some blueberry frost, as well as some turquoise. And that will be our background sky and our water. And then to do our sand, we'll take some white or some titanium white, as well as some fluorescent orange. So go ahead and add those to your palette. Using my one inch mop brush, I'm going to go ahead and get that a little bit wet to loosen up the bristles and dip into my blueberry frost, picking up a large amount, like fully loading up your brush. And then we're just going to come across the top and fill that on in. I use a lot of paint because the black is very um, dark in color and my paints are not so pigmented so that it'll cover it, but we might have to do a couple layers of this, but that's fine. That also adds something if you have it in like layers. And so then we're going to dip into our white and come down here, just pull that in a little bit like that. You want it to kind of swoop up like that. If you have some more blueberry frost. And without washing off our brush, we're gonna dip into our turquoise, fully load up your brush with the turquoise and come straight across here like this. And just paint that down and start scooping it like that. And then we're going to take a little bit of our aqua and a little bit of white. And we're just going to kind of pull that a little bit into here. Pull that out. I'm going to switch brushes at this point. I'm going to grab my size 4 filbert brush, get that a little wet. Tap into my blueberry frost and draw that right across the horizon. going up into the white. Add some white to your brush. I'm going to mess up just a smidgen. Some more blueberry frost. Sit that down to here. Grab some more white. Sit that down. Grab some more blueberry frost. Blueberry frost. A little bit more blueberry frost down here. Okay, rinse out your brush. Using that same size four filter brush, we're going to dip into our white and draw a nice line right around here for the shoreline. Right up into that turquoise and aqua. You can grab a little aqua if you need to. Drag it in just a little bit. Get some more water on your brush. Grab a little bit more white. And just pull that up just slightly. Make sure you keep those swooping motions. Grab some more turquoise if needed. Okay, rinse off your brush. This is where we're going to dip, mix our neon orange with some white. And you only want to mix a little bit of your neon orange with the white. So like a little, little bit of orange with a lot of white. To make a pale, pale orange. I'm just going to draw in our sand here.
may require several layers because the black is so dark in color. Depending on how transparent the paint is. But it leaves nice little mid-tones in there too, so you can leave it as is if you like it. Then taking some of that neon orange and white, sorry, with that same brush, just a little sweeping cloud. Nothing crazy. Just sweeping cloud. It comes down like that. Something like that. Rinse out your brush. At this point, we're going to add a few more colors to our palette, including burnt sienna, yellow ochre, as well as Spanish olive or a light olive green color. Using my size two filbert brush, I'm gonna get that a little bit wet, tap out the drips, and dip into my burnt sienna. I'm gonna go ahead and paint in some palm trees now coming out from the side. So right from where the sand is, I'm gonna do one that ends up right above the horizon, so it comes out to about here and ends in the sand. And then we'll have another guy that's kind of close by, kind of just wings in like this. And rinse off your brush. And taking some, oh, sorry, we're going to have to add some black to our palette too, so I'm going to add some black, permanent black. Then taking some of your black and some of that olive green with your small filbert brush, I'm going to create little bushels of palm trees. There's many ways you can create this. There's no right or wrong way, really. Any brush will do. And we're just gonna pick up some of that light olive green shade and create some highlights on the very tip of our brush. Not much pressure. Just like that, and then dipping back into our black with some olive green in it. I'm gonna create another one up here. Just pick it off like this, pull, and just let loose. And pause with your paint sliding, go ahead and pick up some water. Pull and sweep. And we're gonna add our olive green on top of that. Just creating some more palm leaves in the front. Like that. And rinse out your brush. Using my size six flat brush, I'm gonna go ahead and mix up some white and some black to create a nice gray shade. So draw in an angle down here. I'm gonna come over this like this. Get that gray. Oh, you know what we're gonna do? Rinse out your brush. Put that aside for a second. Or keep that in your water. We're gonna add some texture. Taking some yellow ochre on our size two filbert brush, we're gonna come down the tree and just highlight it. Tap, 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 and pull. 
Gonna add some texture there. You do on this little guy too. Just like that. And then convince that brush out. And then put that aside. And then going back to our size six flat brush. And this time we're going across the top. So I'll create that slant. Let's paint it over. It doesn't need to be perfect, but you can make it perfect if you want to. It's up to you. And come down the side. to show some sun coming in over here just a little bit let's draw in those corners okay now we're going to create a curtain so wash out your brush get some water on your brush with some white so I'm going to start over here and just paint them diagonally. Make sure your paint is sort of dry. Get some more paint, just skip a spot and come down like this. And skip a spot, or you don't have to skip a spot here. Just a little thicker. Just a little thicker. Some more white and some water. Let's do a narrow one here. And a thick one here. And going to the other side. Okay, that's all white. And I'm just gonna start from about here. And just over. They don't have to be perfect. Just like that. And at that point, we're done our painting. So I hope you enjoyed this YouTube tutorial. I know I did. Please remember to click the like button and to subscribe to my YouTube channel for upcoming videos. And so, so until next time, I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye.